Hello, my name is Leonie Farkerson, and today I'll be filming a video. This is for my college students out there, whether you're a freshman or you're a returning student, or you are looking to go into college and you just want to gain information. So, the video today is about what you should pack for university. So I'm in the process of packing actually and buying a few more stuff um, that would have run up from last year as it relates to laundry. Um, I also need to, you know, pack clothes. This is 10 things you need and 10 things you do not need for university when packing. So if you are pack up your van, if you are pack up your suitcase, if you're just a packing a general, make sure you watch this first, unpack and then repack. <laughs> all right all right so serious thing now all right so i'm starting with things you need or actually i'm gonna alternate so number one on things you need for university is a bathroom caddy so at in my freshman year um at corner university i stayed at bulge which is an all women's um dorm and basically you had your room you had a kitchenette which is a common kitchen and then you had a communal bathroom as well uh, multiple would be on the same floor as you or within the same vicinity as you those two that was literally across like made a L so there was one right in front of me and one like adjacent to me um so I went to either of them but you you can't you cannot go without this because you don't want anything that belongs to you that you touch to be touching the bathroom at all no surface so you need that and in it i had slippers i had my shower gel i had my shampoo and conditioner when i you know was washing my hair um face wash if i was doing it in there um and you know among other things like that but make sure along with the bathroom the bathroom um shower caddy make sure you have the slippers and make sure you have you know everything else that you need to remain clean and you know nice one thing i do not think you need to bring is a mirror so personally for my school my dorm they provided one full body mirror attached to the closet and they also provided a small mirror face mirror in my room and then i had a sink room and that had a mirror as well and then the bathroom outside that had two that had a mirror as well a full body actually so i feel like mirrors they both I feel like you don't need to bring one so just in case you need to save money don't bring a mirror all right another thing that i think you will need though for university is cords like technology cords so inclusive of includes that so that includes your hdmi cord your phone charger your headphones and an extension cord or a power outlet I think those four are things you'll definitely need and for the charger I think I use a 10 feet cord across my room or I just had it with me when I needed it and it was very useful whether I was in my dorm and I needed it across the room or I was in the library and the outlet was all so far away and I could charge it still like I think the longer the better um, unless you're just using it for like a, a For a, for a, if you're using it for a portable charger, then I understand if you just want a shorter one. But otherwise, 10 feet or longer charges is where it's at. So the second thing I think you do not need is your whole closet. So I didn't have fall slash winter clothes. So I bought as I went. So I came with minimal amount of clothes, minimal amount of shoes. So that's different. But now though, I have clothes. And I'm buying more clothes because I didn't have that much either last year so I would say though when it comes to shoes I would say I'm a sneaker girl so majority of my shoes were sneakers I didn't need as much as I accumulated but I'd say bring three to two shoes sneakers sorry bring two to three sneakers um, two is fine to be honest and then I think that you should have a heels, a black heels or some type of, you know, neutral color heels for an occasion. Um, I think that then apart from that, you'd have like a sandals when it's still warm, like no. 
and then you'd have a boot fall boot and then you'd have your winter shoes and so that's a five basically let me just say depending on how much sneakers you're gonna carry a five so that is i think how much you need in terms of clothes um just pack outfits and pack for occasion so you pack your day to day so you pack jeans and top whether it's t-shirt or you have three or four nice top t-shirts and then maybe you have two dress occasion or if you're a romper girl or you're a skirt girl or if he's a youth then you have your button up your jeans them then occasion you have your suit and you have three or four ties you don't need the whole closet that's the main point of this number three for what i think you need is a big durable waterproof school bag <laughs> so in ithaca it rains a lot and then it's gonna snow so i never had an umbrella that could cover everything that i was walking with so even i i mean i had my in the winter time or the fall time i had my jacket to cover me from the cold but my bag still was exposed to everything that's happening so i think waterproof is nice big is nice because even when you're not using the school bag for school when you're traveling to and from home it's good to have a good bag so that you have additional space so it's good to have a good bag so you have additional space when you're traveling um the third thing i think you guys do not need is glassware so that would include um you know glass cups glass plates uh, i say bring plastic utensils instead um or what i really recommend which worked for me is i had like four or three real plates um then i had like two two forks three spoons two knife and that was it and i just reused that and then as for cups i had plastic cups for majority of the time but i also got my own cups and mug and i think that's fine um if you have guests then obviously you have plates and utensils for them but um apart from that you don't need like a whole china <laughs> bringing to university guys unless you have an apartment and it's for everybody then yeah uh so the fourth thing that i think you need <laughs> Which I hope I'm not inveigling anybody or I am um, getting anybody into addiction that my friends and I had is cereal and milk. Why I say this is because at late nights, you are up, you eat dinner, when dining all the clothes are bought for clothes. Um, and then after that, you still have to stay up and work. What are you going to eat? Cereal and milk. <laughs> Honestly, it's the cereal is affordable, the milk is affordable. You can find healthy cereal as well or granola and it is filling in the nights when you need a supper and you know you can't really go out for buy food at a restaurant and we don't want fast food because that's all that's going to be open and around so i think that's useful so number four that i think you do not need is a bunch of school supplies um so i bought school supplies that will last me this and next year and the year after that for my first year i for, for the upcoming school year all i did because i'm a stationary head is i bought more pens um i bought more pens of different colors because I love stationery but like I don't need to buy pencils mechanical pencils erasers sharpeners any of that because I have um, like literally anything else I'm buying is just out of excess and for what I plan to do with them but like I literally just buy what you need and 
just buy what you need buy what you really need like really think about it i feel like school supplies at least for me when i was a little bit younger i got like so excited to buy them so i just bought grab 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 i'm not really thinking about necessity and what the amount is and quantity so think about that and then purchase and think about what you really like so that it will last and you actually utilize it Number five, the thing that I think you need is a phone, the phone cards holder. So you know the thing that you can put on the back? I forget. Jesus. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Okay, so the fifth thing that I think you really need is a phone card holder. So I don't know the proper name for it, but basically it's what you put your cards in and it's at the back of your phone and you can attach it because it has adhesive. That was very useful for me. I didn't walk up and down with cash just card and I kept my driver's license, my cards, my ID in there. And those are the things that I really just needed on me at any time. And I could even stick some cash in there if I needed. Alright. So the fifth thing I think you do not need is a bunch of food slash groceries. Um, so I think when you move in, I think it's comfort for you to have your favorite food and stuff like that. And even throughout the year, but I don't think you need a bunch of food at every good, any given time because at least if you're not living in an apartment, dorm life, I'm assuming that you are getting food from a cafeteria, but if not, then I guess you're cooking. And if you're cooking, then I understand that. But this is specifically for persons that are living in a dorm and living off of a dining plan, um, which is what I did my freshman year. So don't bring a lot of food that you're not going to cook. <laughs> All right. So the sixth thing that I think you really need is a water bottle. A water bottle is necessary. There are going to be different places where you can refill water bottles, um, different fountains around. Buy one. Reusable is where it's at do not need is furniture listen remember say you are moving and you have to move out and it needs to be an easy process as much as possible unless i say again this is for person living in the dorm because that was my experience unless you have an apartment and even if you have that remember say more than likely i'm assuming you're rooming with people and it's gonna be a shared space and the belongings that are in there are gonna be of many different people so i'm saying don't bring a lot of furniture especially in small spaces you don't need it promise you and that goes for both dorm life and even apartment bring what you need so the seventh thing that you really need is cleaning supplies um so i think throughout your time in your dorm or apartment you obviously need to clean but I think especially for the moving process make sure you're equipped with cleaning supplies such as disinfectant and a rag cleaning wipes and disinfectant spray because remember say so other people lived where you are just about to move into and people are disgusting and you need to clean it so I really encourage you to bring that not just for the purposes of moving in but also to keep with you and to clean throughout your stay you will get sick trust me <laughs> all right so the seventh thing i think you guys do not need is a bunch of appliances um as i said just stay with what you need stay with what you actually think you will use daily eight thing i think you guys need is apps so I think very useful for us and people living in this generation that actually utilize their smartphones is that we are able to have applications on our phones which are the same as things we use on our computer or on bigger devices. So as for me and my school, we had Blackboard and that is basically the software or I would say the online software that we'd use to access our courses, the courses information and as well as different resources that were posted by professors. So I was able to access them on my phone. So if I didn't have my laptop and I need to access a document to read or I need to see the homework, I was able to use my phone and a computer. 
depending on which was accessible to me at the time. Um, there will be different apps for you probably. Um, there will probably be different apps for me too um, as I enter the new school year and school years. So just keep with keep adept, keep um, aware of what's going on and look for apps. So the A thing you don't need that I brought to university, I don't know if it's just, this was just me, but I brought toilet paper. And I mean, toilet paper can be used not just for, you know, in the bathroom, but it could also be used for other things. But honestly, the only, the only other thing I would use it for is wiping surfaces and they have wipes for that. And I brought toilet paper, but I don't actually have a bathroom in my room. The bathroom was outside my room. So unless you do have your own bathroom, then I guess you don't, you don't really need toilet paper. Yeah. All right. Whew. So the ninth thing I think you really need is a journal slash panel. Um, so you guys would have seen my journal before, whether it's on my page by Leonie Fark on Instagram or on my YouTube channel. Um, but the journal for me was just a way, is still a way for me to plan um record and make sure I, I i jot down when i execute um and to show my milestones to release thoughts from my mind etc in the school obviously you don't need necessarily a journal you could use a planner and you could buy one um but just make sure you have one all right number nine where i think you really don't need is too much decor i say keep it simple some people might be different and have a different style. I mean, I was somebody that really got crazy last year and I planned out everything that I wanted. Did I get it though? No. But honestly, when it comes to the process of moving out, especially because it's during finals time, you want to move as quickly as possible. So I think you really need to be smart about what you're carrying with you and what you plan to put up and make sure it's easy to come down and easy to pack up. Or you already have a plan for how you're gonna pack and leave i mean you can think about that obviously along the line because it is a movie no we don't reach the re we don't reach that bridge yet but just keep in mind that you want to make the process as easy as possible in the future okay so we're at number 10 so the 10th thing that i think you really need is an umbrella especially if you're living in the northeast Umbrella can be used for rain and umbrella can be used for snow. Umbrella use can be used for shine. So I think that's really necessary. Um, and lastly, I just want to say that not tangible, not tangible. I think you need to come into university with an open minded mindset. Um, I think you need to have a plan and I think you need money. <laughs> and <laughs> like straight facts. I think those are three things that are intangible that you will need. So think about that. All right. And then number 10 for things you don't need. Um, I just say anything else that you're second guessing do not bring to university. Don't. And like in the spirit of what I just said for something you do need. I think you don't need a just come in ready to tackle what's yours. You got to this place. Are you work for this? So make sure you're calm and you mash it up. Do your best. Do the best you can. Um, so yeah, guys, that's my that's my take. Um, so look down below for a list that I made last year. Um, it's not necessarily everything that you will need, but I just made a bulk list. You can obviously cross out what you think is necessary, but I'm gonna drop in the description below a bulk list of what anybody would need. So make sure you check it out. This chest of drawers and this closet, right? In the closets, I'm trying to obviously hang things that need to be hanged, like um, jackets and dresses and you know dressy tops that we won't want to get crushed if we're gonna wear. Um, but since this is elevated, 
like I'm trying to store based on priority going from down up so I'm trying to sort that out but then I'm also trying to keep things under my bed like clothes under my bed to be accessible so that would be things that I wear day to day so that'd be my track clothes um, I would need to have like jeans something tights that type of thing where I just throw on to wear to school every day um, but apart from that right now I'm thinking to put my sweaters in the first one here and then I'm going to buy another one of these on the bed storage things to put more clothing such as what I just told you guys and then I have some stuff that I don't think I'll be wearing as yet or often so I think I'm gonna put these things up there but yeah but I think I'm gonna call it a night for the video today and I'll start filming again tomorrow so I'll see you guys then so I'm kind of just making a list on my phone of what I see mentally of me doing with what's going on here so when I do go to Walmart it's a quick thing um, do need a lot of though I need a lot of I'm just gonna slip it in right beside the closet and that's how I access the top and I think that's literally fine I don't think I don't think that's a problem at all so yeah still working <laughs>